We're back at the SHI Summit, Fall Summit 2025. We're talking about AI. I'm Paul Gillen. I'm here in Somerset, New Jersey. And uh, we've been talking from a variety of people today uh, that are affili affiliated with SHI and with HPE and its, uh, its uh, AI programs. Uh, one thing we've not heard yet from is someone from SHI. So we have that opportunity now. Joining me is Tyler Webb, who is the Director of AI Sales for SHI. And thanks for being with us. Thank you, Paul. I'm happy to be here. What does um, the Director of AI Sales do? Well, I lead a team of eight individuals. We support all the business units within SHI, and so that roughly accounts for 17,000 customers across SHI's business. We essentially are concierges for our customers' AI journey. So our, our main goal is understanding what business problems they're trying to solve today and how can we help accelerate the outcomes that they're looking to achieve when it comes to AI while realizing that time to value and ROI that is possible. Uh, how, does, uh, how did you come to be in this position? What special skills do you have to lead a uh, strategic initiative like this? A lot of it comes down to just being innovative and forward thinking when it comes to helping customers and really understanding truly what challenges that they're running into. I believe with our team, uh, understanding what the business problems that are trying to be solved is critical and how does that translate to different AI use cases that we're helping our customers achieve on a daily basis. So it's, it's a lot of listening, it's a lot of understanding, um, a lot about the customers, our industry, the vertical that they're in, what others are doing that have proven success and, and really how we can leverage the advanced capabilities and resources that SHI brings to the table uh, between our 120 AI and machine learning experts as well as our enterprise architect teams and AI and cyber lab facility that can help customers rapidly prototype these use cases and bring them to life. What are some of the most common questions uh, customers ask you? Why do they bring you in to, to talk about AI? Well, we really kind of cross the gamut across anywhere a customer is when it comes to AI. It's everywhere from customers just trying to wrap their heads around it and how do we get started um, to the customers who are more advanced in their journeys and they're really trying to accelerate innovation and create that next competitive differentiator for their business. Um, a lot of customers are asking what are you know, use cases, what are industry use cases that we're seeing success in and where are other companies focusing their time and efforts. But there's also a huge people aspect to it as well. So it's really aligning uh, the organization and addressing pieces like the change management and adoption that goes into making any of these AI initiatives successful and is a critical piece of every strategy. So what are the areas where you are, your customers are seeing success right now? Well, Paul, we really have a three-phased approach. It's um, an, a framework called Imagine, Experiment, Adopt. And so we really start with that imagination phase where it's understanding the business problems that our customers are running into and how could AI create some of those improvements or efficiencies that they're looking to achieve. And then that drills into what are the use cases that will impact specific processes or workflows that we can quantify results in. And a lot of the results on the surface, like it, it will be tangible ROI from day one, but a lot of the benefits of these AI initiatives you know, could be seen further down the road. So helping create those milestones and, and getting customers into the experimentation phase in which we actually prototype a solution. So we're talking about full stack development, full stack design, container, everything below, everything above, and bringing a, a solution to life. And then with the adoption phase, getting back into the change management pieces, how do we scale this in an, an organization and truly uh, create something that's sustainable, scalable, it's going to be uh, secure, compliant, governed, and it's going to be something that helps them advance into the future. Uh, there's been a lot of talk lately about high AI failure rates, uh, most notably an MIT study that came out recently on this topic. What are you seeing out in the field? Are failure rates really that high? Well, if you took the studies at, at face value, like 95%, they said, uh, were, were failing to reach production, meaning only 5% are actually achieving value, and you know, other studies cite 80% of AI projects are failing. There's a couple key pieces to that. I think a lot of it is the lack of alignment between the organization, so you know, it's not happening in a silo. It's not a technology problem. It's really a combination of the people, process, and technology 
and aligning that triangle. So when we're talking to customers, it's critical that we have representation not only from the IT department and the IT leadership, but from line of business owners, as well as the users and the people who manage the data. Because it, it truly is a problem of solving the data gravity, right? So getting the data to the GPUs and, and accelerating that, you know, so the customers can truly achieve the value of AI. And it's also focusing on the right use cases. And where I see a lot of customers, um, you know, maybe, maybe failing to inspect as closely as we help our customers is really understanding what are the metrics, what are we going to measure success by? And to do that, you really need to start with where are you today, what's the baseline, and then be able to track improvements over those key milestones as you scale, adopt, and advance AI. So you need to take a methodical approach to it. Absolutely. All tech companies are AI companies now. What does SHI uniquely bring to the market? Well, we bring a lot of things, Paul, but first off, it, it comes down to our partnerships. So we have amazing partnerships with players like HPE that we are developing some cutting edge solutions. For instance, the Digital AI Ambassador as well as uh, an initiative with HPE and Kamiwaza around 508 compliance. Um, this in, is affecting every federal entity, every state, local government agency, uh, municipality. And so that and compounded with our ISV relationships and network of partnerships, and of course our partnership with NVIDIA uh, and the resources that we've, we've brought to the table there. And in addition, it's, it's our people, right? Our, our expertise, and I mentioned earlier, over 120 AI and machine learning experts at our disposal uh, can help our customers really accelerate that time to value. So partnerships, expertise, portfolio, and really understanding what our customers are trying to accomplish and solving business problems. What is a digital AI ambassador? You just mentioned that. Digital AI ambassador really is transforming the customer experience. So if you think about any setting, you know whether you're going into a retail store, you're walking into a bank, you're you know, dealing with a customer service agent. Uh, it creates that, that human-like experience, but does it through an AI-powered avatar. So this is something we've, um, we've debuted. We've, we have one internally we've named Kira, but very lifelike um, using natural learning processing. We can you know, have those conversations. They're emotionally intelligent. They can pick up on the sentiment. So like we're having a pleasant conversation right now, but let's say that a, a client or a constituent is maybe getting a little bit frustrated, it would be able to pick up on that and you know, bring in a manager, keep a human in the loop, but ensure that you have that 24 seven consistency that's really representing your brand. So you know, at the end of the day, customers are going to remember your organization by the experience that, that they have working with you and a digital AI ambassador is a way to create that consistency uh, in an AI powered digital world. Well, you only have to walk through the Innovation Center next door here to see the importance of partnerships. That room is full of uh, partners, of SHI partners, some of the biggest brands in the, in the world. Uh, so obviously you're doing a good job. It's some really exciting stuff and it's just a pleasure to be part of this, but more so a pleasure to help our customers achieve their goals and just be at the cutting edge of everything that SHI and our, our partnerships like NVIDIA, HPE, and you know, all the ISVs and, and solutions that we have in our portfolio have been able to provide to our customer base. Tyler Webb, Director of AI Sales for SHI. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you, Paul, I appreciate the time. I'm Paul Gillen, this is theCUBE, the leader in technology news and analysis.